Hi everyone, uh, Anshul this side from RK Rosie's Education and uh, today we are in Aachen and we are here at uh, FH Aachen Institute of Applied Sciences. Uh, with one of my student uh, Mani Khanta like and this video uh, specifically I wanted to highlight a point that Pursuing a course such as International or let's say Automotive Engineering from FH Aachen Institute of Applied Sciences. This is a, a course which hardly has 15 to 16 uh, capacity. They don't have students more than 16. Uh, with, and in, in 16 students also, if you if you read their university's website page, you'll find out that only 15 to 20 percent reservation is given to non-European candidates. Now, thousands of applications the university receives from students all across the world who are, who are applying, who, who are from, let's say, mechanical background or mechatronics background or perhaps from automobile background who applied for this particular course. Now, let's understand what all things that makes a difference uh, between a successful application and, all, uh, and someone who could not get admission into this particular university for this particular course. What all things that Mani Ganta would have done or perhaps there's one more student of mine who got admitted uh, into the same course in the same batch with Mani Ganta. His name is Sainath. He's not here today. However, the, both of them got admission into the same intake. So let's understand what, what, what makes his profile uh, stand apart from the other applicants. So let's welcome Mani Ganta first. Hi Mani Ganta, how are Hi, you? Hello sir, I'm doing good. <laughs> good. So <coughs> can, can you please give an introduction once again? Uh, so, hi, my name is Manikanta. I'm currently doing my master's in international automotive engineering at FH Aachen or like FH Aachen University of Applied Sciences. So, right now I'm in my second semester. Fine. So, he got admission into summer intake 22. Now, let's ask him like, did he personally believe that he might get admission into this particular university for this particular course? Like, did you, did you ever thought about this? No, that no I, I never thought because even when I contacted you you have drafted me an email uh -huh. in that you have listed me nine courses i guess in the ninth course was with star mark automotive engineering is not so easy to enter but we will try right so this is something like whenever i go through any students profile when i give them the recommendations i always make a comment that which all universities is possible for you to get admission into and which all universities it will be difficult so this i i already know that it's, it's a bit hard to get admission here However, like with all the process and with, with his uh, hard work and with our efforts also, he got admission into this particular university. Now let's understand what all <coughs> things or what all uh, background that he had or what all other, uh, let's say, add-ons that he made in his profile, which helped him got admission here. How does those 16 students who are, who are there in this uh, particular course, how do they get selected here? First you have to fulfill all the eligibility requirement of this particular course. Now, uh, this is something about both the universities in Aachen, FH Aachen and RWTH Aachen, that is GRE is compulsory here. So without GRE, you won't be able to apply in either of the universities, neither in FH Aachen or RWTH Aachen. Secondly, uh, the deadlines of the universities are also quite earlier as compared to other German public universities. Now, Mani Ganta had made sure that before applying to this university, he had already given the GRE exam and he also uh, fulfilled the requirements uh, of the GRE score needed to be eligible to apply for this particular university. Many students who, who plans to apply to Germany, they sort of uh, prefer not to give GRE thinking that it will take a lot of time and a lot of effort and they think that, okay, like if you have the IELTS result with you, you will get the admission easily. However, GRE is something which is always recommended. So, so Manikanta, like, what was your GRE score? My GRE score was 325. And uh, 326, quant, sorry. In quant, how much you had? 156 something for 160. Right. Quant aptitude. Right. So now this GRE requirement, uh, whatever the requirement, exact requirement you can find on the website of the university, he fulfilled that requirement. Secondly, uh, there is one thing which I found in his application uh, was there is a bit of difference in the bachelor course that he has pursued. Now his university or the college from where he did his bachelor's, Nagarjuna University, in their mechanical engineering program, he had more courses relevant to automobile engineering as compared to other uh, universities there in India who, who, have, who offer the same program. 
and, and it differs. It's a, it's a fact that if you if you go to let's say Amity University or perhaps any other university in India, the, the course module would differ. So he had this advantage wherein he had extra subjects relevant to this automotive engineering which helped him to uh, make his profile strong and better as compared to the other application. As he told, I have um, my plan was to get into Germany uh, right after my bachelor's. So in my bachelor's, I have some extra modules and those are not compulsory, co compulsory modules. So, but even though I have taken those modules which are related to powertrain and some simulation subjects. Uh, in my final year, when I contacted him, he told that you do project related to automobile if you are interested in that and also do some paper publication if you are planning like whatever course you do that stuff related to that thing and then i started working on project related to automobile and then uh, some uh, extra modules taking up in my college and uh, yeah after that then i have i have submitted everything what whatever work i have done and in my uh, letter of mo motivation or uh, in my letter of motivation he have highlighted my subjects like powertrain automobile uh, ic engines and some electro mobility so those those subjects helped me a lot to get in admission to get to, to be among the 16 students out of thousands of applications is going to be challenging right now the reason why uh, you should you should do your uh, this bachelor's project the final year project that every bachelor student has should be done in a relevant field that you want to pursue your masters in bachelor project gives you approximately 20 grade points in india like when you do your bachelor's or b-tech in india generally it is 20 24 grade points in depending on the universities which is a, a very big number of grade points hence when he did his bachelor project in a similar field that gave him an extra edge also whatever other let's say certification course you can you can do relevant to automotive automobile engineering let's say these are always going to be add-ons do not think that if you have a high cgpa let's say someone who has 8.5 cgpa 8.9 cgpa and he did not have those number of credit points required to get here then it's not possible to get admission it's always the profile building that you have to make sure in order to get admission into such specific courses because these are very specific courses offered in German public university and I hardly know three of them which I have already mentioned to you so this is what it takes uh, plus the other requirements were general requirements that is the IELTS was required so IELTS is 6.5 year uh, German has now become mandatory uh, this is like they are asking for A2 level of German language proficiency which is also another story here so in his case he is the only student and this is something which I am not saying he will tell you like he was being told by this by coordinator, the coordinator, my coordinator. Right. So, like uh, some months before i have an appointment with my course coordinator uh, regarding my subjects and then i had some conversation with her like at that time she was telling uh, i don't know uh, like we get a um, lot of applications from india especially so some people they just apply simply they don't even check the requirements also she she uh, in the word in the meeting she has uh, mentioned this thing and with that thing she also like told another word like you are the only guy in the fh arkan studying right now without having goite certificate because the time when i have applied for the university it was like the covid again started raising with some cases and then uh, the getting some goite slots are also very difficult but by that time i have prepared my a2 and i was i was okay and i'm confident to give goite exam but i couldn't find any um, Center. slots yeah then i contacted anshul sir like what can we do now then he he just drafted <laughs> one page two page mail to the course coordinator and then she replied me okay the, we can understand that uh, we, we can give you some exemption but after coming here you have to submit in goite or telk you have to write here then i told okay uh, in that way it, it got very much help in my application or else it was i could not stand here doing the video <laughs> fine so now this is again uh, whenever you face any sort of problems with the german university if you would try to explain them the genuine reason they will definitely understand this and, and this is what he's I, very professional in writing emails as well. I have to mention this. <laughs> yeah. Fine. So 
now again like concluding this video uh, this is again i come back to the the, the point where i started uh, getting admission into such courses such as fh arkin course of automobile engineering it's going to be difficult so try to start building your profile as like when you're in your third years of your bachelor studies in india start doing internships start getting uh, this uh, certification courses perhaps and start taking those sort of uh, small small workshops related to automobile engineering which will definitely going to help you also make sure that you fulfill all the requirements before you apply otherwise it's a completely waste of money for yeah. you yeah even without proper internships if you have 8.5 or 9 gpa it doesn't matter if you are applying to a course it should be related something to your course that you are applying for example you are applying for materials then you have to do some modules huh. in materials and then some internships in materials projects and like, like mini thesis or like this that this is for like every course because Uh, like not many people will probably do material engineering from from india so mechanical students only get into material one or perhaps someone from civil might might apply there yeah. so this is more or less very relevant and mani kanta has given you a lot of uh, inputs on this how to apply plus uh, if you have any sort of again like anyone who wish to apply for masters or bachelors perhaps for house building or for for nursing in germany they can always contact us uh, through email or, or you can probably uh, call us directly as well Uh, so keep watching our videos and uh, i i hope that you all subscribe to our channel thank you subscribe